different date, same fate. I'm gonna knock out Jake Paul. Mike Tyson reappears with a scary video to Jake Paul after the fight's new date was set. Tyson delivered a message that left many, including Paul, cold. Different date, same fate. I'm gonna knock out Jake Paul. Boxing fans were left in suspense after the postponement of the highly anticipated bout between Mike Tyson and YouTuber turned boxer Jake Paul, originally scheduled for July 20th. The postponement was due to an ulcer flare up Tyson suffered during a recent flight, which prevented him from being deemed medically fit for the bout. In a recent video, Mike Tyson released a message that chilled many, including Jake Paul. In the clip, Tyson looks determined and threatens a brutal end to his opponent. Mike Tyson sends scary message to Jake Paul. Thank you for watching. Tyson's message has generated a wave of anticipation and fear in the boxing world. As fans count down the days to see if Mike can deliver on his promise and leave an indelible mark on Jake Paul's career. Different date, same destination. I'm gonna knock out Jake Paul. Different date, same destination. I'm gonna knock out Jake Paul. A new date for the showdown was decided a few days ago. The legendary former heavyweight champion and known as Iron Mike will step into the ring with Jake Paul on Friday, November 15th at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, not far from Dallas. With the new date set, anticipation is growing and both fighters are preparing for a showdown that promises to be historic. Jake Paul versus Iron Mike Tyson's new date confirmed. Tyson sends a brutal message. The pair will finally step in the ring together in November after a July postponement. Iron Mike Tyson delivered a war cry to Jake Paul for their Friday, November 15th fight by suggesting he's going to kill the ex-YouTuber when they step into the ring at the AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, not too far away from Dallas. The ex-WBC heavyweight champion of the world was due to make his return to the professional game in boxing after a 19-year absence in retirement until medical conditions forced him to postpone the July 20th date as he looks to recover from ulcer flare-ups. Paul agreed to the date and stated that both of them agreed to train for the same amount of time in the interests of fairness. So the new date for Netflix's first boxing live event will be in November 2024. The sickness the 58-year-old Tyson currently battles has not dampened his appetite for the fight though. And when he confirmed the date, he delivered a scary message to Paul that said, new date for Jake's wake. The Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation gave the green light to the new fight night date. <laughs> which will see Paul and Tyson compete over eight two minute rounds with 14 ounce gloves. That's different to the standard regulation of 12 three minute rounds with 10 ounce gloves, as people look to protect Tyson's vulnerable age. Our team has worked diligently with all parties involved to reschedule this monumental fight to a date that ensures both Jake Paul and Mike Tyson are fully prepared. Nakisa Bidarian, co-founder of Most Valuable Promotions, said in a statement via ESPN. With equal training time, as well as allowing us to keep the event at AT&T Stadium in the midst of the Cowboys season, we appreciate the outstanding dedication collaboration and flexibility of our partners at Netflix and AT&T Stadium. Paul vs. Tyson is the most cross-generational sporting event in history, and we are committed to providing fans worldwide with this unforgettable night of boxing, live globally on Netflix. We look forward to seeing everyone on Friday, November 15th for a showdown that will be talked about for generations to come. Tyson vs. Paul, their records. Tyson exploded onto the boxing scene by running up an incredible 37 consecutive wins before suffering his first defeat to Buster Douglas, which saw him lose his status as undisputed heavyweight champion. At the time of his retirement in 2005, Tyson's record stood at 50 wins, six losses, and two no contests. That's very different to Paul, who is at the start of his career in comparison. Nicknamed the problem child, the 27-year-old has fought 10 times in professional boxing with victories over Nate Diaz, Anderson Silva, and Tyron Woodley, whilst his only loss came against Tommy Fury in 2023 by split decision. He then had to sit out several years after going to prison from 1992 to 1995, before he returned with a victory over Peter McNeely in August 1995. In the second phase of his career, he won nine fights, suffered four losses and two no contests, as he won the WBC belt and WBA belts, 
before losing the ladder to Evander Holyfield. Obviously devastating news, I'm heartbroken, speechless, like gutted. We've been working so hard over here, everyone in this camp, and I just feel bad for everyone involved in this event, the whole undercard. This is opportunity has been ripped from all of us, but I do uh, value Mike's health first and foremost. Love that guy, I have so much respect for him, and um, I want Mike to be healthy. And he says he still is gonna knock me out, and I bought myself some time. So Mike is still talking shit over there. Uh, but Mike, if you wanna do this, like you said, behind closed doors, behind the scenes, you've said you wanna do this in Q4, you just need a little bit of time. So I'm ready whenever you are. This is too big of an opportunity. I think this fight's gonna change the world. And I turn all my L's into W's. That's a motto I live by. And the universe makes no mistakes. So let's see what's in store. But sorry this didn't work out to everyone, the fans. Love you guys. Mike Tyson and Jake Paul agree on a new date for their fight after tough negotiations. Accordingly to the announcement made by Netflix, the new date for the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul fight is taking place on November 15th. The place will still be the AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Netflix is still the main organizer and they will stream the event live for the entire world to enjoy. According to this information, the co-main event between Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano is also still standing. Mike Tyson's medical emergency didn't allow for him to continue training with the July 20th date in his mind. That's the main reason they decided to postpone the event. Despite this latest update, there are still many who absolutely disagree with Mike Tyson fighting the 27-year-old. Mike Tyson at his age is facing a YouTuber that is much younger uh, and uh, hungry and capable of boxing as well. So it's going to be a good example for uh, people that are at Mike's age. Yeah. Uh, it's also actually a good example for me yeah. to keep on punching, so to speak, uh, and uh, hopefully. And uh, um, I look forward to that match as well. You can only be too old in your mind. Yeah. If you control your mind, you control everything. Multiple authorized voices have expressed their concerns about the legend and consider him getting into the ring is extremely dangerous for him. But Mike Tyson already committed himself to a contract. Getting out of it wouldn't be easy without paying a hefty fine. On July 20th, Mike will be put to sleep. Is this just fight hype? Are they just trying to sell this? Or are both Tyson and Jake Paul seriously preparing to knock each other the F out? I hope for Jake Paul's sake, <laughs> it's to sell tickets and Mike ain't taking it serious. I've been watching this very close. First of all, his face is chiseled again. Mm -hmm. It ain't even, he ain't even done yet. No. So imagine what he gonna look like by the time he get there. Dude look different. I was, I was telling Paul. Multiple authorized voices have expressed their concerns about the legend and consider him getting into the ring is extremely dangerous for him. But Mike Tyson already committed himself to a contract. Getting out of it wouldn't be easy without paying a hefty fine. Comment your opinion and subscribe the channel to know more about Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul.